Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a uh, upgrade video, but today is the day. So we're gonna do some upgrades here on the uh, FCS24 Blazer. Um, it's on pickup mode right now, you can see. I recently did a video out on the beach, so I haven't uh, put the cab back on it, but that's what it look, looks like right now. Well, that's the tires and the uh, sound hours in the video. Other than that, that's pretty much what it looks like right now. And uh, yeah, man, it's been a minute. Nice to be back and do some uh, upgrades. So today, we're going to be doing some uh, Trio total axle cover upgrades. These are brass, they're black. They're really heavy. That's the reason why it's gone. They're real nice and, nice and chunky. They're real heavy. So definitely going to feel a lot of weight um, down here at the bottom. Also, um, we got the, uh, we got some brass hexes. I've had these around, lying around. I, I, I use them on the, uh, the defender here. Um, I put it on, you know, lighten up your wheels just a little bit more. The ones that I have right now are, are the, the stock ones, but they're also brass. These are just a tad bit, um, tad bit wider than the ones on the Kyrex for m here. I'm gonna try and, uh, put these on this one. I'm not sure they're going to fit because these are a little bit wider and these, I'm not sure, for, for these to fit on these, we had to buy the uh, extended um, drive shaft, so, or CVD I believe, and that's the way we were going to fit it, the wider stance on this one, but as you can see, it's already pretty wide with the uh, portals in there. So, I mean, if we can't fit these in, we'll just run them with the stock uh, hexes, but we'll try to get these on there, see if it fits. Now, we went ahead and got some uh, Trio um, covers, you can see here. They come like this, in a two-pack, so if you were to buy these, you now can buy two packages, because there's two in each package. They're right around the $20 price of that, I believe, for either one of them. Now, I got these because they're black. I'm not a fan of the gold, all gold, you know, brass color. I like the black, it's a little less conspicuous, so it, it feels, it, it, I like the way it looks that way anyway. It's also a little more, uh, personally, nicer. Now, the kit, as you can see here, it has a two portal cover, has a hardware, as I have here, and it comes with this, um, little sticker kit over here, so you want to put some stickers on your RC, on your mini RC if you can, I'd probably just use the smallest ones over here. You can probably use it on your coffee mug or a laptop or whatever you guys want, but yeah, they're pretty nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, basically all we're going to do is uh, remove all the tires, and I'm going to show you guys how these things go and how they look, you know. Just a little quick tutorial here to show you guys how to do things around here. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the wheels and then we're going to start removing the portal covers. Uh, we'll probably add some grease in the portal gear because I believe um, I haven't opened the portal gear because I got the truck. So it's, I'll find out what they look like when I pull the wheels and the portal covers out and then we'll see. Then we'll go from there. I'm going to go ahead and um, Grease, all you got to do is kick out all four wheels. On this side, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, stick these on the uh, truck. Alright, then let's get started. Alright, oh, remove the tires, and here are your. Uh, Photo axles, you see here, and you have your hexes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these hexes out. And then we're gonna pull the portal covers out and put these on. These basically go over here like that, basically on your truck. It looks a little bit wider than the actual portal axle, but it's a big old cover. And the four screws that are right here. I'm going to fix it as well in here into the actual portal axle. We're going to go ahead and remove the hexes and we're going to remove the portal covers. All 
All right, hat trick are removed. Uh, so you can see we're gonna go ahead and take off these four screws. I believe those might be 1.5 inch uh, hex drives. So we'll find out here. Three. Let's try use the 1.3. Nope. So it's definitely gonna be the 1.5. There's your portal cover. There's uh, bushings in there, you can see. Not bearing. And this is what your, uh, this is one of your, this is your main portal gear. It goes down here at the bottom. Like so. When you pull the, when you pull the um, cover out, this um, gear will come off come off with the cover so basically all we're going to do right now is just add a little grease right in here my good friend my best friend old marine grease so we're going to go ahead and add a little tag bit here in the gears and then once we do that we're going to go ahead and reinstall the portal gears with the um grease and the new cover so let's get going Tag bit of uh, marine grease. We're gonna go ahead and just add a little dab over here. And just kind of cover a little bit. You know, marine grease helps with the waterproofing of the park. So if you like to do a lot of water runs and whatnot, like I do, this will help uh, seal up the uh, portals properly to avoid get any kind of rock or water into your portal here which is pretty nice because it definitely helps seal things up pretty nice over here all right okay we're gonna add a little bit a little cat a little dab of grease here on the large uh portal here just a little tag bit don't add too much because if you're this small i mean you need to add a whole bunch just enough to where one starts turning and it'll lubricate all the gears. Now to remove the um, the stud here from the actual cover, there's a little, there's a little, a little, little stud in there that's crossed. So then you gotta push it out, and this will come basically right off as soon as you pull it off, and then you can. Uh, Put this on the um, on the brass cover. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that part, and we're gonna pull it out of place. Got these little 
pliers here should be good enough to get in here and remove it. And then it's pretty much all I have to do is pull this out. You see there's your uh, pommel stud at the end. Now there is a couple of bushings in there. So we're going to remove those bushings and we're going to replace them. And we're going to put them in the back of this photo cover. So these two are coming off and I'm going to go over here before we do the rest of the installation on the uh, photo activator. So what I like to do, because it's so small, I'll just grab, you know, any one of my little ends here and we'll just kind of scoop them out and then press them onto this one right here. But before we do that, we're going to add a little bit of grease back here for extra coverage and we're going to go ahead and put these in here. By the way, these are bushings, they're not bearings, so just keep that in mind. You can buy a bearing kit for this vehicle if you want to. I don't have a bearing kit right now, so I'm going to go with the bushings again. On top, I got help with the, uh, you know, the water, because, um, you know, with bearings, they tend to rust out in the water, and uh, it's more of a pain to replace them. Then they'll get seized, and they don't want to come off, so... If you do, if you like to do a lot of water runs, or you plan on running your truck in a lot of water, definitely just recommend keeping the bushing for the time being. I mean, it's not, uh, it's just me, but if you guys want to do all the bearings, it's up to you guys. I'm just saying, for me, it's just safer to have the bushings on to avoid any kind of rusting or other problems in the gearing. And the other one fell down the floor, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, we're done removing the uh, bushings from our portal covers here. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of grease on the back side of the portals here. Just to give a little extra, extra protection. And we're going to go ahead and push the bushings inside each individual um, hole here. Yeah, I absolutely love marine grease. It's really good. It really helps seal things up really well. Especially for RC vehicles. It's great stuff. I'm a huge fan. I use it on literally everything I have on my Carex 4, on my Carex 4M. Uh, any, any car that I have that I'm going to run through water, I most definitely like to run marine grease on it. And I insist, if you guys plan on running your car on the water, please put marine grease in it. It'll save you a lot of headaches in the future, for real. I'm not joking. This is true. Alright, so you got our grease up in there. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bushing. So one would go down here, and the other one's gonna go on the top there. Now to add the bushings, basically all I'm going to do is put them in here and just push them down with my, um, the end of my driver point here. Make sure they, they go up all the way down. They don't go all the way in, they'll be partially popped out a little bit. Just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know how it's going to end up when I put the stuff back together, but I can't go any farther than what you see there. I'm 
pushing down as hard as I can, but I think that's as far as we go. So we'll never do that. Now, here's a large portal gear. So we're gonna put it in here. Put the other portal gear. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, stud back into the cover here. And once you do that, once your stud is in, as you can see there, we're gonna go ahead and grab the little pin that goes inside. I can't, so let me grab it with the little pliers because it's really small. We're gonna go ahead and put that pin little pin here back in here where we pulled it off from earlier and then from there we're gonna go ahead and install it onto the uh portal axle here you can see it's a little tiny pin and here's your gears for pushing and there's a little hole here so basically this is gonna go in a little hole and we're gonna add it we're gonna put it over here and it's gonna get uh hooked up with the uh, gear over here Okay, the pin's in. You can see there. You can see it spin. I'll try to get a little closer to you guys to focus on it. There's a little pin there thing. So this basically, we're going to get hooked up to the uh, actual gear. So we're going to go ahead and put it back on the, on the uh, car here. And try to get to where it's stuck to this. What you also can do, instead of um, just putting it like I did, is grabbing this gear here, and just basically put it on here with your hand. Okay. Okay. There she is. She is spinning. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it back into the uh, vehicle. See what it looks like. Okay, so you put the uh, portal cover back on the vehicle. You see it's uh, right there. We're gonna go ahead and screw it down, and then we're gonna move on to the next.
So when I put these back on, I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern. So I'm gonna do one corner and the other corner to even things out. And then once I get those two corners put down, I'm gonna go ahead and add the other two screws on there. Okay, so we got a cover on there, you can see. So basically what I did was I crisscross, so I put one in this corner and the other one in this corner, tighten down, then we'll go ahead and add the next two screws on this side to even it all up. I am using the hardware that comes with the kit, so um, use, I would definitely recommend using those because they're a little bit longer than the stock ones, I believe. But I just tag bit, not too much. Okay. I will not recommend over tightening these because this is all plastic so if you go too tight you might uh, strip it so just be weary and aware of that when you put these parts on here okay? Well they you let that be known. Do not over tighten these because they'll strip and that's not a good thing. Alright front left port cover done ready to go so after we do after we install the portal cover what's next to do is install the hex and then we're gonna go ahead and put the tire we want to show you what it looks like with we want so these are actually uh quite a bit wider than the original stock one so um yeah uh, they're pretty wide, so it'll definitely, it's definitely going to give your truck a wider scan in this case. So, basically, what I want to show you guys here is, um, as you see there, comparison. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these here, side to side, so you can compare the difference between the stock hex and the aftermarket uh, brass hex. Okay, so basically this is your stock hex. You can see your aftermarket Enduro hex over here is uh, pretty much like double, the almost double the size as the original um, stock one is. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit in there. We're going to give it a shot and see what happens. If it doesn't fit, we'll go back to the original hex. But, and let's see what happens with this wider uh, brass hex. So before you put your hex on, you gotta make sure you get a little pin and put them back into the um, scud here. You see here, use a plier. I mean, like pliers, like this one here, to get it in there, so it's really, it's really small part. So I recommend using the pliers to put it back into the hole. Okay, back in. We're gonna go ahead and try the new, the new uh, brass hex on. See if they uh, will fit. And look at the wheel fire over it. Well, I got bad news for you guys. These will not fit on the scug here. The scug on the uh, FCX24 
is actually wider than the one on the Curex 4 m This does not go in there, it won't fit. Just because there's a little part right here that's a little bit thicker, like a little um, cover of cork. And when you try to put this in, I mean, it'll slide down there to there, but it won't go down any further because this part right here, you can see, um, you can see a little part right there. That right there is um, not letting the X go all the way down to the stud right here. So I'm going to show you really quick what it looks like when you put it on. So this is your uh, hex. It's Minjira, it's for Curex 4M, so it goes to the stud, but it won't go past that little gap right there. So definitely not going to work, as you can see there, see, you can go all the way down. So the, the hole on this is a little bit smaller than the actual hole on the original hexes for this truck, so uh, I'm gonna recommend these and probably look for some gear made specifically for the FCX24 platform. Just gonna save these for my Carex plan for another occasion. I'm gonna go ahead and put back the original hexes in. And they fit in like a glove. Easy peasy. There we go. Nice. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the tires on. These are the uh, Injera Deep Dish uh, Wagon Wheels, and these are the 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 uh, Goodyear Wrangler Mud Terrain tires, just in case you're wondering what they are. I'll put links on the description for both the wheel and the tire, and for the uh, cover. And I'll try and find a link for the he type of hex you need for this particular vehicle because the ones I put on there do not fit. They're for the Curex 4M. I thought they fit because the Curex 4M scores are pretty thick too, but that little part just wouldn't let it go all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheel back on there. Make sure what it looks like. can't really see it because it's a wagon wheel, so you really can't see it. But um, if you were to have a five-spoke or a six-spoke uh, trio wheel, and you definitely be able to see the uh, trio logo from the inside from there. But with these, you might not be able to see them, but they're right there. Pretty much what it looks like. That's your left front tire right there, wheel. It's pretty nice. I like the black color. It's very discreet. It's not really poppy. So this is good. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and scull the rest of the um, portals and we'll come back and talk about it a little bit more. Alright, well, we're done installing all four of the portals, all the four, all four portal covers. So I'm going to show you what they look like once they're installed. You can see here are the two uh, left tires over here. Now you turn it around, that's pretty much what it look like once you're installed onto the vehicle. Um, just an FYI, uh, when you guys install these, I mean, just don't forget to add grease inside the um, portal covers. It will help seal off the water proofness of the uh, so it won't, a lot of, so the water won't be going into the gears inside the bottom. 
Um, I left the bushings in there. I didn't replace them with bearings. So just uh, if you, like I said, you plan on running this to water a lot, I probably just recommend the bushings for now. But if you want to upgrade to bearings in the future, that's that's, that's not a, that's not a problem either. But in my case, um, I do a lot of water runs and mud runs. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick around with the bushings for a little while. Yeah, that's what, that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like when they're installed. The vehicle is definitely heavy, even when not too tired, it feels a lot heavier than it would and it was before I actually put the covers on. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the uh, tires back on here and we'll go from there. Done installing the uh, portal cover. You know, it definitely feels a lot heavier now than it did when I first got it. I mean, it's definitely getting quite a few uh, ounces of weight there. You can see there. Pretty balanced in a way. I think having the covers in the back will help keep the uh, back end planted when we go down the steep hill. Also, we put the uh, cab back on the on the rear there and remove the uh, light bar. Might help also plant the vehicle down a little bit more. But you can see yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, the covers there. See them. One, two, three, and four. Now, these are a little tight right now, so the tire is not really spinning, so I may have to loosen them up a little bit so they'll spin, but get them over tighten them, that's all I recommend. Now, as far as the blazer itself goes, um, right now it's out of commission because um, the last video we did um, a couple weeks ago or a week ago, um, we were really, uh, I had, I smelled something burning in the vehicle, so I went ahead and looked what it was, and, uh, I let, I let it dry out, and I cleaned it up real quick, and, uh, then I went in the check, and I realized that the uh, motor got burnt out on the, uh, on the other uh, truck here, so I had to order a new motor from FMS, and, uh, well, that's gonna be a little bit before it gets here, I believe another two weeks or so, and, yeah, that's a long way, so, for now, um, the blade is out of commission until I get a replacement motor and then uh, we'll be we'll go back to business. Um, other than that, um, the servo, everything works properly. Um, all your gears are working fine. Lights work. So I'm, I'm 100% certain that it was just the uh, motor that burnt out. You see, servo is working. Right now it's on neutral. There's your... High gear, neutral, and low gear. So everything is working. Servo, so I think it's just, there's no throttle. So I believe the motor is just uh, out of place there. So uh, we're going to wait for the motor to get here and then we'll um, put the motor back on and we'll make some more videos. But for now, um, it will get more upgrades. I mean, right now it's just a portal cover, but I'm also expecting the uh, steering link to come in here within a week or two as well, because they're all coming from China, so it'll be a little bit longer before we get here. So we'll have, we have portal covers now, and next thing coming up are brass steering link from FMS, officially from FMS, because FMS, if you already know, um, they sell their own upgrades for their own vehicles, so... You can buy upgrade directly from FMS for the FCX24 gear. Um, I went with a trio because they're bigger, feel chunkier, and they're also heavier than the FMS brass upgrade they offer you. Because they're pretty much the same as the original portal covers. They're still narrow like the original portal covers. I thought about getting those, but then I looked at the trio. So they're, they're a little more chunkier and a little heavier, so I went with the trio in this case, but the uh, steering link itself is going to be from FMS, it's going to be brass, and uh, we're going to remove the light bar and the roll bar, and we're going to go put the cab back on, and we're going to go ahead and make some more video um, of the uh, blazer soon. Also, um, I ordered a new body from FMS, so it's basically a blank white body, 
like coming over here pretty soon like I said um, in a week in a couple of weeks maybe three weeks from China so it'll be a while before I get anything going with the uh, blazer and the uh, upcoming body got the whole body kit with the grill the windows and everything the cab so uh it'll be a pretty nice um project we're gonna be working on but before we get to the project we're gonna try and get this guy running again we're gonna put the motor back in and get it running so um we can do some more uh, video with this guy as far as the krx for him goes no problem has a broken down um hasn't had any problems with either the servo or even, well the servo did bring out so i'm not gonna i could change the servo with the original tracks metal servo but everything else like the receiver mics everything's working fine no problem so we're good there we did lose uh the replace the uh, front tire here in one of the videos that it fell off and i don't know where it went so i'm gonna i do have a replacement to put in here so that'll go on there eventually other than that, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon with some more upgrades on the Blazer and uh, some more video footage. You guys have a good night. Thank you very much. See you later.